All right, hey everybody, Scott, Triple S Drywall. Here in Katy doing Southern style. I got my main man, Eli, right here from Fort Worth, Texas originally, but in Houston the last 10 years, and he is a texture expert. So I'm originally from New Orleans. We don't do a lot of these heavy textures. So this is a heavy knockdown. If you look, it's a very, very, very heavy sprayed texture, and then it's knocked down. So we had a patch here we cut out about a five by five and we've done all the mud work, all our preps, we sponge our edges, and we're ready to texture right now. Um, he's gonna be using, this is actually a little small hopper you can get from Harbor Freight, and it works better than the hopper that I demonstrate for a light orange peel, because this is a bigger texture. And so we're using a small compressor, it's gonna be very, very little bit of, of uh, uh, pressure on the hose, because you want it to spread out, and you want it to get big. Um, we fix our mud, a little bit thicker than what I do on my other videos for light orange peel, so you want it kind of thick. And so, the original way that they do these, they have these big spray rigs, so it's kind of like a cement mixer. And in that cement mixer, it's a bunch of mud, it's got a long hose with a continuous spray. And so with that nozzle, it sprays it really, really big. And so it's a lot of mud, so it's, it's hard to duplicate. And I don't know if you notice, we're on a scaffold about 20 feet high in a foyer. So we've got a tent all the way around and make sure we don't make a mess in, in everybody's house, so to speak. And uh, so Eli is going to show you all how to spray this. The stage is yours. All right, we're going to start spraying. Do that air hose. The pressure. Check the first. We're good to go. So I don't know if y'all notice the way he's spraying, so this is a really, really heavy texture. So he's got the hopper almost going on a sideways angle because the nozzle on here is kind of small. But if you spray it sideways, it'll open those balls up to make them bigger. Is that correct? Correct. Yeah. As you can see, look up. He's taking his time and he sprayed it very, very uniform. So it's a big, ugly orange peel, essentially, is what it is. So we're going to give it just a little bit of time to uh, before we knock it down. So we're going to cut the video. We'll give it just a few minutes, and then we'll show you how to knock it down. All right. So we're back now. We let this set up about five to seven minutes. It just depends on how thick the mud is, but you don't want it to be too loose because when you knock it down, it's going to get really big. So this is something that's really uh, popular. It's called Magic Knife. So you can buy this pretty much anywhere, Sherman Williams, Home Depot, that kind of thing. The rubber on it, it's, it's kind of difficult to get inside the creases. So Eli got this, this is actually a threshold from a garage door. So he was just in Home Depot playing, playing with it or thinking about it and he got it. And this rubber is really, really, really loose. So it's more forgiving when you try to knock down as opposed to this is really thick. So if you're not super steady with this, which this can work, 
but this is foolproof. So I would suggest if you if you got a lot of them to do, you can get a piece of this. It's an eight foot piece you can buy and then cut it. And you can actually take this handle here off of a magic knife and then screw it onto this guy where you can screw into if you're gonna do a ceiling or something. Are you putting a lot of pressure on it, Eli? Not at all. Barely touching it with my fingers. More in the edges. Can you show me real quick? Can I see that? How you holding it? More on the edges where we had the waist punch, the edges. Uh, trying to do it lighter. Basically, just two fingers, one finger in the back. Just barely touching it. As you can see, I jumped some apart. Coming back for it. Just nice and smooth. And very, very little pressure. The edges, you're gonna have overspray, so you kinda wanna be careful with that. And you can actually take a sponge on the outside of that and knock it down low like he's doing there. You can uh, you know, kinda wipe it kinda hard so you don't have a whole lot of overspray on the outside edge. You know, on the existing that is. So there's very little pressure. I mean, there's no pressure whatsoever. And that rubber is so soft, it, it's hard to even if you try to put pressure on it. So that's why he likes using that because it's, it's kind of foolproof. When you do any knockdown, which is the hardest part of this. Obviously, you need to get your mud right and all that, but the knockdown can can really mess you up, and you have to lay it down and respray it and that kind of stuff. So, having the right tools is always very helpful. Great. So, we're going to go on the bed. It's a real sporadic texture, uh, but this is a really heavy version of it. So you gotta be careful, um, and you gotta experiment. So you can always try and do something on, uh, you know, on another wall. Just kind of play with it before you get into your main area. Uh, this has been a really, really difficult thing for me to figure out because we don't do this texture in New Orleans. So I've been here in Katy now four years, but uh, we're figuring it out. Ain't that beautiful? It is beautiful. Just a, a knockdown, a heavy knockdown. There's lighter versions. You, you look at what you're doing as far as uh, your texture. Some are heavier than others, some are lighter. Um, this is a heavier one, so we were able to do this. So we're gonna paint this, but we're gonna let it dry overnight. It's, impor it's important you let everything dry completely prior to painting. Um, but doing it Southern style, my boy Eli, starring in the show, Triple S Drywall. Katie, boom.